Well, Beerus, you knew this day would come. The cat is out of the bag. Eh? 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 That's right, everyone. Dragon Ball Super Episode 38 finally dropped, and wow, okay, this really starts to answer a lot about what Hit is, and what he does, and how much he can kick ass. The strongest fighter of Universe 6. Enter the Assassin Hit! The Assassin Hit that's sweeping the nation! It's nothing like a pirate hit, I mean, tch. Wow, what a square. Yep, we find out more about Hit, and especially what his nickname is. The Flawless Hit. Wow, looks like Hit is... Absolutely flawless. The main part starts off with Vegeta, having the tension build up inside. So much tension. So much tension. So much... Can we get on the fight already, please, Vegeta? Oh, okay, well, we have a flick to the nose there, a flick to the chin there. Hits mastered the art of POKING! OH NO! Vegeta's face begins to melt and he's on the ropes. He can't even get out a big bang attack before Hit wants to get in close for another poke. God, wow, he just really likes to touch people. BLOOD! WE HAVE BLOOD! WE PAID FOR BLOOD! And I thought Super actually forgot what blood was, but hey, we got it back! But then, Vegeta pretty much turns into a hothead again and just basically says, I'M GONNA GO ON ALL ATTACK! Ah, PUNCH IN THE STOMACH! OH NO, HOW COULD THIS HAVE HAPPENED? And he's out for the count. Well, Vegeta's out of that, but hey, we got something! He actually was the first to survive Hit's techniques. That's a good thing. But then all the tension is kind of wiped cleanly away when we find out from the Galactic Octopus, who's done pretty much nothing in this entire arc, and just realise that Hit may be using the time leap technique. Which means basically he's stopping time for a tenth of a second, and a tenth of a second in Dragon Ball is an eternity! Well, if you're not talking about screaming, of course. Despite this practice being illegal, and the Galactic Patrolman and the Galactic Emperor being there, they're not going to do anything about it. Well, so much for that. Then we find out that Whis pretty much knows what he could do to counter Hit's move, and then just goes, Oh, I think it's best that Goku finds out for himself. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. Then we actually get to a little bit of a bombshell, and Beerus kind of like lets this slip over a kind of semi casual one line, and that is basically that Monica is a ploy. He's not the strongest in Universe 7, and he's just pretty much just there to motivate Goku and Vegeta to be stronger. And Piccolo just managed to figure it out. This could be actually a double bluff, but then again, I doubt it if Beerus is confiding this to Whis. Oh man, the comments are gonna be pissed! Then we get to Goku fighting, and he pretty much manages to figure out what Hit's moves are within like a couple of minutes and a couple of moves. So then he's actually able to predict Hit's moves and cancel out the time gap. So it sort of takes away that technique, so they actually have to fight now head on. Yeah, it's kind of like just Goku going, ha ha ha, I figured out your technique. You're not special, you're gonna lose. All in all, this episode was okay. It wasn't quite as good as the last couple of episodes, and those were really good. But it's still pretty decent, and we actually managed to figure out what Hit is, sort of. He is a thousand years old and he is an absolutely flawless assassin, and he likes long walks on the beach. However, this episode seemed a little more dragged out than the previous ones, and I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing because that's more Dragon Ball-y, but then it's a bad thing because we've now gotten used to more snappy episodes, so we're kind of jumping back and forth in terms of pacing, so I don't know, but it could be just used to kind of amp up the tension because that's what we needed because we knew nothing about Hit, and now we needed to kind of really emphasize that this guy is a badass and he needs business. He's not just Buff Muck main character. What would have been better is if Goku actually managed to figure it out on the fly. So he actually managed to guess because he knows about instant transmission, he knows about time manipulation. And really it would just be so much cooler if Goku just pretty much just went up to him and said like, I know what you're doing, you little, little trickster you. But no, we got that from exposition. Oh well. Having said that though, Hit's technique of time manipulation is actually pretty fascinating. I mean, we've had that before with Goldo, being able to do a time freeze and kind of move around as long as he can hold his breath. But this one is a lot more practical in the Dragon Ball universe. A tenth of a second is a big difference, so it can actually be used to make what an attack that might not have hit before actually hit. Hit, 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 hit. And I'm saying a lot of hits, so I'm just going to get them out now. But anyway, thank you very much guys for watching, and be sure to catch the next episode coming next week. Just be sure to like and subscribe to this video for more of these episode reviews as well as my other content. But until next time guys, catch you later.